This is a uh, 1952 Sterling White that I found in Sacramento in 1988. Uh, there was two of them, one cut in half. This one, all complete except in real rough shape. And uh, we uh, made a deal on them, brought them home, and started a restoration that took four years. Uh, a lot of body work was needed, uh, missing parts, things had to be built like uh, running boards and battery boxes, front bumper, uh, the engine was stuck, uh, took uh, three different engines to get enough pieces to build the engine for it. The rear ends uh, were in pretty decent shape, uh, all I had to do was brakes and wheel bearings there, but uh, transmission was uh, a little rough so I put a different one in there. Uh, the truck originally belonged to Forest Hill Logging out of Forest Hill, California, and spent its whole life hauling logs. Uh, tough country down there and the uh, truck was pretty rough shape. Had a lot of problems uh, trying to get fenders shaped right. Uh, they were hit from all angles and uh, we finally got it and they, they came out really nice. Uh, like I say, the running boards, they were junk. We just had to make new ones for that. I don't know, it just seems like everybody wants to see the blower. Of course, it's kind of hard to see it's down in there. Yeah, this is a uh, NHS supercharged 275 Cummins uh, diesel engine. Uh, the transmissions are Spicer. The main is a uh, 8051, five-speed, fifth direct. Auxiliary is a uh, 8031 Spicer, three-speed. Sterling's kind of unique with the frame, uh, having a wood uh, liner. It's uh, white oak. And uh, the original wood was in three pieces, uh, sectioned off between the brownie and then uh, between the rear ends and I found some nice oak that was uh, long enough I only have one section in it and it's got a splice at the brownie and other than that it's uh, uh, all varnished and uh, so people can see it and really see the oak. Yeah, The uh, rear ends are Timken uh, Worm Drive model 456 which was the heavier model in the uh, uh, rear ends at that time. Direct drive no power divider, so you have to match your tires so, uh, to keep from tearing up the rear ends. Suspension is uh, Timken with a page and page uh, trunnion conversion. Uh, the original had a bronze bushing that uh, wore pretty bad, and everybody, Page and Page, came out with a uh, rubber bushing that uh, lasted real well. Uh, these uh, interior colors were, uh, Sterling advertised that as uh, driver comfort, easy on the eyes, and uh, they stayed with these colors for many, many years. Seating was from American seating and was uh, brown uh, leather. 